Good Wednesday morning. Once again, another blast of cold Arctic air is uh, coming in for our Wednesday. We actually had a brief respite from the negative numbers last night. Temperatures actually climbed for a few hours. Now this morning again, we are looking at bitterly cold but bright blue skies. Well, there's a look at time lapse with our quality group camera. It's from CC Heights looking into the west. And boy, it looks like a, a, a cheery day. Oh, the sunshine. If it, it would think that was having some impact, like it was warming things up. Sadly, this morning we are actually colder now than we were uh, in the overnight hours uh, as temperatures have been falling and falling and falling. And even after sunrise, they're still falling. As we look now in downtown Rochester, brisk breeze. You see that out there, the, the flag uh, out there being impacted by those brisk winds uh, on this early uh, Wednesday morning. That's uh, the the from the Plumber Building, looking to the west anyway, toward the Plumber Building and uh, Mayo Building. That's downtown Rochester, live with our uh, quality group camera. Right now, dealing with some very cold sunshine today. Another round of our Arctic high pressure coming in. That is for a short time only, though. The good news is we're going to deal with cold sunshine today, barely get above zero, but from here it gets better tonight. Yeah, as soon as this evening, warmer air will be coming in. So temperatures actually will be climbing, and then our high temperature for today may actually happen just before midnight. So that's a good thing. We're going to see warm air coming in, and the next couple of days do not look nearly as cold. So we're talking about temperatures today, single digits, and 20s and 30s come back at least for a couple of days uh, to round out the work week. Downside is we are uh, going to lose some of the sunshine in the next couple of days as well. Three below zero in Rochester right now. That's uh, just before 9 o'clock this morning here on this Wednesday. Two below zero in Dodge Center. North Iowa a little warmer, but definitely colder than uh, temperatures were in the overnight hours around uh, 5 o'clock this morning, 6 o'clock. Mesa City had a reading of 12. It is now 2 degrees in Rochester. Uh, when I came into work uh, around 3 o'clock this morning, Rochester had a temperature of 7. It's now 3 below zero. Zambrode 11 below. You see where we're headed right now. Temperatures uh, likely to bottom out here around 10 o'clock or so this morning. And then the sun will offset that and start trying to warm things back up. We'll get back above zero by this afternoon. Uh, 3 below in Rochester, 19 below the wind chill. Now the winds are not really strong necessarily anyway. 9 miles per hour, but it really feels a lot colder. It, it, it plays much bigger when that wind chill impact is, uh, is thrown in. 19 below zero in Rochester, 14 below in Preston, 12 below zero. Right now, the current wind chill in Mason City. Day planner, a lot of sunshine. Boy, it looks like a beautiful day. If you didn't have to go outside, it would be probably a beautiful day. Uh, not much wind either. I mean, if you can get out of the wind or, you know, if you could just uh, bundle up, you, you probably do okay. At least it's good travel weather. If you have to travel, it looks like things... Uh, overall, pretty quiet today. 8 degrees, the expected high this afternoon. That'll be the daytime high, but again, as I said, temperatures will likely continue to climb through tonight. High pressure coming in behind a little clipper system. This one came through overnight, and with that, we've had temperatures actually climbing for a while, uh, right around uh, midnight. And then around 3 or 4 this morning, a cold front came through, and temperatures since then have been dropping. But more energy coming from the west. That will eventually bring more snow chances, but also some warmth over the couple, next couple of days. Snow chances tomorrow morning, again late Friday. And overall, the next couple of days looking a little better as far as temperatures go. Not as brutally cold. Um, still not balmy, but it is December. Uh, 3 below zero in Rochester, 20 above in Des Moines. But look up north, all those double digits below zero. We missed out on that. We're not going to get quite that cold, thankfully. Fargo, 17 below. International Falls, Duluth, 14 below. Here's Futurecast. There's that high pressure doing its job, keeping the skies bright and cheery. Clouds take over in the backside of that high. Winds from the south begin to kick in uh, this evening, 10, 15, 20 miles per hour by midnight. That's going to help temperatures climb, though. Uh, snow going on to our north. We will see some of that snow here. About around 5 or 6 in the morning tomorrow, about an inch or two of accumulation between 6 a.m. and noon. Afternoon, the snow moves out, and then some uh, slightly lighter winds tomorrow night will drop to the teens uh, by early Friday morning. And then another shot of warmer air ahead of another storm system, uh, looking at some snow by uh, late Friday morning into the afternoon. The possibility there of another inch or two of accumulation, heaviest amounts by far with that Friday system uh, later in the day and in Friday night will be north of us. Uh, what we're facing here it could even be a wintry mixture at times as temperatures will be in the low 30s. Uh, we're facing on the forecast snowfall. This is for tomorrow morning, uh, 8, 6 a.m. until about noon, about 1 to 2 inches. Rochester 1.7. Mason City a little less than an inch and at Red Wing about 2 inches. But if you're going to central and northern Wisconsin, off to Wausau, Rhinelander, those areas 5 inches or so in the way of snowfall tonight into uh, tomorrow. 
with that system. 8 degrees in Rochester, Mesa City 11, 3 in Owatonna, mostly sunny northwest winds, only around 10 miles per hour or less, so not a lot of wind today. Tonight, snow well after midnight. In fact, by tomorrow morning, really, that's when the snow begins to show up with the brisk southeast winds. Temperatures climbing to the teens. So we'll wake up to the teens tomorrow. 28 the high tomorrow afternoon, an inch or two of snow. That winds down around lunchtime. Winds around 15 miles per hour. Uh, seven day forecast snow again Friday afternoon and evening about an inch, maybe an inch and a half out of that system. And then snow ends very early Saturday. Slight chance of uh, being clipped by a system on Monday. At this point, uh, still a lot of question marks there, but I, I think that may be one that stays south of us. But those look like uh, cold air will dominate, though. Even at best next week, we're talking teens, maybe low 20s for highs uh, as we're going to stay a little bit colder than the seasonal average. Not as many sub zero days, I think, but not very many really warm ones either. In the meantime, uh, have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great um, Wednesday.